Hey everybody, it's Chris uh, doing another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Uh, tonight I'm going to be doing a review of the Old Chub Scotch Ale from Oscar Blues Brewery. Oscar Blues, if you go to the Facebook page, you'll see I'm oftentimes hailing them because they, they do can, and they have no problem canning, and they give you a canned on date. This was canned on the 22nd of March of this year. This, as I said, is the Old Chub from Oscar Blues. I paid... Uh, I paid, let me think, uh, I, sh I remember it now because I wrote it down. I paid uh, $1.59 and 15% off of that, so I paid uh, close to like a dollar and a quarter for this. Still getting a lot of glare off that. Let's see if we can... Anyway, it doesn't seem like I could hold it in such a way that I don't get glare. But this is an 8% ABV, and uh, they are from Longmont, Colorado. Um, it's like Sputnik, they say. Not sure what that means, but okay. Uh, maybe because it's out of this world. Don't know. Have enjoyed other beers from um, from Oscar Blues. Uh, so uh, since this is a can, I'm not going to be using my Taza design, my pop the top opener from them. And so the first crack, and we get get a lot of smoke. Let's see how this pours out. I think you're seeing that there's a nice brown color to this. Not all the way black. Probably closer to a cola color, I would say this is. And uh, very persistent tan head. Now I'm starting to get some of the uh, some of the fragrance from uh, from those hops. Lots of smoke. Yeah, now I'm getting definitely getting that uh, Scotch Ale smell. Um, I'm a big fan of Scotch Ales, the darker uh, ales, uh, we heavies. So uh, I really am looking forward to this. And considering I paid uh, almost a buck and a quarter for it, I'm really, I'm especially looking forward to it. So <sighs> enough talking, enough sniffing. Let's go straight to tasting. Oh yeah, that that's a good. That's a good Scotch Ale. That's a, uh, <coughs> it retains the smokiness. It's got the, the burn, uh, the slight burn in the back of the throat of the high ABV, higher ABV, I should say, not high, but higher. But um, it still goes down very smooth. Lots of, uh, lots of smoke, lots of peat, actually. Uh, I've told this joke before, I'll tell it again. What do you call a Scotsman who's been dead for 2,000 years? Pete. Uh, so, yeah, I'm getting the peat off of this. I'm getting the smoke. Um, this almost has the the fragrance of barrel aged. Uh, this is, this is a, I'd say this is a lighter uh, Scotch Ale in that it's not, um, some of them come in, come in at you very strong where you, it hits you, your nostrils flare, you get that strong ABV alcohol burn. Uh, this is the antithesis of that, and I'm glad I put this in a snifter. I did check Beer Advocate and saw that you can put your Scotch Ale in a snifter, and I think this is exactly the kind of Scotch Ale that demands a snifter. Because I'm getting a lot of great smoke notes and uh, peat and pine, and I mean, this smells like the inside of a, of a forest just outside of uh, Glasgow. Wow, this is... This is a very fragrant and very flavorful, while simultaneously smooth Scotch Ale. And I'd say if you can make a Scotch Ale that is flavorful and smooth, you've really made a, a great accomplishment. Probably when I go to Untapped and check this out, and, uh, and check this in rather, um, I'm going to be giving this probably about a four. Uh, I have had better Scotch Ales, but not many. And the fact that this is able to pull off everything including a low mouth feel while simultaneously uh, 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 an aftertaste burn from the ABV. This is, uh, this is, this is unique in that it's, it's uh, complex while simultaneously um, smooth. You don't normally think of smooth and complex as going together. But I'd say Oscar Blues pulled this one off. So, uh, I'm glad I put the Colorado beer into a Colorado brewery uh, glass from New Belgium. Picked this up at a uh, tasting at Lee's uh, Discount Liquor. Oh, let's see, maybe three years ago. So anyway, um, 
But yeah, this is definitely worth the price that I paid, the uh, buck and a quarter. I don't know if you're going to find it that cheaply or not, but uh, about a dollar twenty-five, dollar twenty-nine for a twelve-ounce can of this, and uh, good stuff. <laughs> now I am going to be holding true to my um, every day in June, uh, and Monday is actually scheduled to be a video uh, review day. I may record one early and post it later. I don't normally do that, but I'm having a gallbladder surgery on Monday. So I doubt the doctor's going to want me to come out of anesthesia and then drink a beer and do a review. So in all likelihood, I'm just going to maybe record one over the weekend and post it on Monday. But um, I think and maybe I'm going to do uh, the, the Dead Guy uh, uh, Ale, which came in a bottle that glows in the dark. So maybe I'll wait until it's a little bit darker or we'll turn on the light and we'll see how well it glows. And Because uh, I, I actually paid uh, 85 cents for that bottle. And uh, but more about that then. This is this is the time for uh, to discuss the the old chub from Oscar Blues. Never had a beer bad beer from this brewery. Honestly, if I make it out to uh, Colorado, Oscar Blues is one of the uh, places I definitely have to check out. And in case you were unaware, on the day that Bowie died, uh, they put I want to say Ziggy goodbye Ziggy on uh, the bottom of the cans. So not only do they put a, a canned on date, and not only do they can. But they were cool enough to acknowledge uh, Ziggy on the day that he died. So, anyway, until then, uh, cheers, good drinking, and uh, enjoy. <laughs>